Hello everyone. Today in this lecture, I am going to deal about very important instruments that are being used in obstetrics and gynecology. So in this first part of the series, I will deal about four main important instruments that are Sim Speculum, Anterior Vaginal Wall Retractor, Uterine Curate and the Cusco Speculum. So this is the Sims double bladed posterior vaginal wall retractor and in this instrument you can see there are two blades and one handle is there. So these two blades are different in size because one is uh, narrower and one is wider. The narrower one is used for Nelly Paris woman as she didn't deliver previously. And the wider blade is being used for multi paris women as she delivered multiple times previously. So these are unequal in size and medially there is one concave groove and this allows the drainage of different secretion from the uterus. And this is the handle uh, through which we hold this instrument like this. As this instrument is very important to retract the posterior vaginal wall because through which we can visualize the cervix and uh, vagina uh, and we can identify whether any injury is being taken place uh, in the normal delivery or not and uh, we can collect the sample from the cervix like pap test we can use so we can retract the wall and we can take the sample even we can introduce some cannula or catheter or any scope to visualize the uterus internally like uh, we can use uh, this in HSG procedure, histo self angiography, where we can inject the dye and check for the uh, patency of fallopian tube. Even we can use hysteroscopy. Uh, in the procedure of hysteroscopy, we can use this speculum. So uh, it is being used in various minor and major gynecological and obstetrical surgeries. And uh, even if the membrane get ruptured, during pregnancy, we can uh, visualize the cervical region and identify and make sure that yes, the membrane get ruptured. So because normally what happened, uh, once the membrane get ruptured, the fluid comes out uh, very uh, forcefully. But suppose if uh, it is not being done like this, then we can assure that yes, membrane get ruptured or not by this speculum by visualizing the cervix. And even it can be used in MTP procedures medically uh, if we want to terminate the pregnancy. In abortion cases, we can use this speculum. Uh, so in these conditions, we can uh, do dilatation and curettage or dilatation evacuation procedure. For that also, we can retract the posterior vaginal wall. Even if we want to uh, check any vesicovaginal fistula is there or not, then also we can retract the posterior wall. Uh, vesicovaginal fistula means there is an opening in between the bladder and the vagina. Okay, So there are many major and minor surgeries in which we can retract the wall and we can visualize the cervix and uh, vagina. So in conjunction with this sim speculum, we can use this anterior vaginal wall because this speculum retract the posterior wall and here we'll use to retract the anterior wall of vagina. So basically both are used at the same time to make the opening more wider and perform various procedures. Okay. So here is the second instrument that is anterior vaginal wall retractor. Here is the long metallic handle or the shaft part and there are two endings uh, which have large fenestrations and the openings along with that various transversely uh, placed serrations are there. So these fenestrations and serration facilitate the better gripping of anterior vaginal wall. So it is being used with the uh, conjunction with the sim speculum. So overall whatever I have mentioned previously the procedures like pap smears or MTP procedures, dilatation, curettage or dilatation evacuation and uh, to look for any uh, ruptured membrane, this combinedly being used. Okay, with the use of both at the same time, we can perform these all mentioned procedure. So by the use of both instrument, the anterior vaginal wall retractor and the sim speculum allows the more space to visualize 
cervix and vagina better. Now the third instrument is the uterine curet and it has also a, have the long metallic shaft and uh, at both end there are smaller fenestration. So sometime the confusion is being created that uh, uh, which one is the uterine curet and the anterior vaginal wall. So you can see that in anterior vaginal wall the fenestrations are large and in curet the fenestrations are smaller and in anterior vaginal wall retractor there are many transversely sedations are present but here it is not there. So in uterine curet both ends are not same one end is sharp and one is, one is blunt. Sharp is being used for gynecological procedure and the blunt one is used for obstetrical procedures because as we know that the pregnant uterus is soft comparative to non-pregnant state. So it will be uh, damaged very badly if we'll use the sharp end. So in obstetrical procedure like dilatation and curatage, we use blunt end to uh, scrap or to uh, scrap the uterine wall uh, while we are doing surgical procedure in MTP. So for dilatation and curatage, we'll use blunt end of uterine curet. Now the another speculum is the cascos bivalve self-retaining speculum. So here you can see uh, in this speculum there are two blades and both have concave interior surface and the handle. So there is one advantage over the previous two speculum that is this is self-retaining because when we are introducing into the vagina we'll close this both blade and will introduce and then depending on the need we will press this handle and open these blade and thereby will tie this blaze blades by using the screw so overall it will remain as it is it is self retaining it means it doesn't require any assistance as we required assistance in speculum uh, that is in sims and anterior vaginal wall but here we didn't want any assistance to hold this instrument so thereby it is self retaining uh, and it is also being used in same indications as i have mentioned in the sims speculum for the collection of smear that is pap smear or the checking of the ruptured membrane or for the various minor and major gynecological procedures we can use this and mainly it is being used for the visualization of cervix and vagina and the furnaces. But there is one disadvantage of this instrument is that it occupies the anterior and posterior vaginal wall completely and thereby the visualization uh, hampers. Okay, we, can, we can't visualize better as it allows narrow space uh, for any procedure. So the space which is being available by this instrument is less comparative to these previous uh, two ones that is the sp sim speculum and the anterior vaginal wall so thereby uh, it has got this disadvantage and even though if vesico vaginal fistula is there then also we can't visualize as it occupies the anterior vaginal wall it uh, covered that wall so we can't visualize that wall so all these speculums are being used for visualization of cervix and vagina. So here in this lecture, I have covered with the four instruments that is the sim speculum, anterior vaginal wall retractor, uterine curate and the cusco speculum. And the next part we'll discuss about the other instruments. Thank you.